doing just a short video today about my hair because it is quite unique especially for Caucasian hair my hair is just it's super curly I've always had super curly hair um, I also have a lot of gray hair which I love I used to dye it until maybe about five years ago <laughs> once I learned about the chemicals I just said man I like the gray hair so I'm gonna let it go natural and actually I love the way it looks it looks very different and I've been working on these dreads for about a year and a half and now I've gotten to the point where almost every time I go somewhere I get some sort of compliment. Um, usually African Americans um, will compliment me. They love my hair. Um, even a few days ago I have um, an older Caucasian lady that told me that my hair was just so unique and interesting. So I, I thought that was wonderful. But the way I got started in the beginning is I went, called around to all of the African American salons and just asked, can you do Caucasian dreads? 98% of everyone said no. They kept referring me to other places. Caucasian hair is just difficult. That's not what they're used to. I finally did find an African American salon that would do my hair. Um, so she started me off. It was very expensive. She worked on my hair all day and she did little tiny dreads that since then I combined them. The problem is she wanted me to come back in two weeks, which was great. During that two week span, my seven year old got head lice. So I called her and told her that. And since then she said I could absolutely not come back. I actually went to two doctors and I got a doctor note. Still with the doctor's note, she didn't want to take a chance. She would not allow me back in her practice. My cousin is in Donellan, Florida, Tuesday North Sea, and she owns a hair salon. So I started seeing her, but the drive was just too long. But Tuesday North Sea is amazing. Then my friend Jamie in Gainesville, Florida, she started helping me and she still helps me. I'll go to her maybe once a month just so she can use the crochet method and she'll just tighten them up some. She is absolutely amazing. But the only thing I do from day to day maintenance, I'll take a dread, twirl it. Friction is your friend when you have dreadlocks. Sometimes I'll spin it and then I'll just twirl it. And I just do it when I'm not thinking, I'm just sitting there doing it. Um, I wash it now, I wash my hair about once a week. I was doing it about every two to three weeks, but I started getting an itch. There's just too much oil that was piling on. And what I learned through this experience, in the beginning, you're gonna have some itch. I mean, it just happens. So I should have known that, and I would have known that it's not lice, it's actually just itch. But that's another story, you know. I'm, this is a learning process, I'm learning. So um, something else that I do, I have this salt spray, this dreadlock salt spray. I'll give my hair a good spray. It just helps to tighten things in and then I'll do the twirling and the spinning. And I'll do that every few days or whenever I think about it. Something else that I have is distilled water with essential oils. There's peppermint in here, tea tree oil, um, maybe lavender. And in the morning, if it's all kind of compacted, I'll spray it on and then it helps to fluff it. Something else that could help with the itch is oil, grapeseed oil, and then also peppermint, lavender, tea tree. I'll unscrew it. Just put a little bit on there. I learned this trick by watching another dread video. Um, I use doTERRA oils, but any kind of essential oils that you have on hand. And then I give it a little, little massage and it gets down then to, into the scalp. Um, someday I would like to do extensions, but for right now, no extensions. But I, um, I've gotten to the point where pretty much every time I go out, I get some sort of compliment on my hair. Um, usually it's from African Americans, um, usually men. But actually a few days ago, it was maybe a 70 year old Caucasian woman that just said, whoa, your hair is really unique. And I started keeping track of all the compliments I'm getting, but it's because my hair is different looking. You don't see a lot of Caucasian people with dreadlocks and because of the curliness, you still get some of that frizz, which I don't mind at all. I think it's awesome. But in the beginning, I had some friends, one was even a hair stylist that said, please don't do dreadlocks. It's gonna be the biggest mistake of your life. And I just thought, it's hair. It's dead hair. How can it be the biggest mistake of my life? If I end up not liking it, I just cut it off. That's how we roll. If my hair is an inch long, it doesn't matter it's just hair you know I just I really don't understand people but to me it was the one of the best things I've done personally for myself and my dreadlocks now um, about a year and a half old um, if you see this would be that actually represents something um, we cut we had to do a hair metal um, hair follicle test on my seven-year-old to check for metals in his body and we needed a hair sample so he's got long hair as well. 
Um, so we cut off his hair and instead of throwing it away, we weaved it into mine. So the ones that have bees in it, this is actually my seven year old hair, which kind of has significance, I think. Um, this is Willow. You look at his hair. We've never cut his hair ever. And it's gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with them. Honestly, the day to day maintenance is much, much easier. Um, I only wash them maybe every week, week and a half now. And I just do the twisting and the turling and the friction, you know, when I'm watching TV or not really thinking about it. So that's pretty much all that we do now. And another perk is my husband loves it. He says, he says that I look like a supermodel and that's wonderful to hear from your husband. Um, I also think it has to do with our new lifestyle here because we're outside so much. I never wear makeup. So all of us have that tan, you know, we're getting that tan, just bright skin. And I think that has to do with this RV living life. This is just a much better hairstyle for me. Stay tuned to see some photos regarding the transformation of my dreadlocks over the last year and a half that I was able to scrounge up. Thank you for subscribing.